you can convert a web page file, docx, markdown file, CSV, spreadsheet, whatever it is, into a task a project. That includes YouTube URLs, and you could just copy and paste text, and it will handle it for you as well. Or you could have it summarize it and then turn it into a project for you. So for example, you get our blog article updates and you want to update that, you can just copy and paste it in here and then import it and we'll handle all of that for you. So just a small update right there. The other thing that we have recently updated as well is if you go to media, you can actually convert these into projects. So instead of taking these uh, static links, so you have a URL, you have some sort of uh, document, whatever it is, you can turn them into projects. And then that way, whenever you're giving it to your agents, it's actually dynamic knowledge. And then from the automation side, one other quick update that we've done is we've recently released a add to add URL to media. So what this will do is Let's say you have a YouTube video over here. So if you have a new video over here, I'm just going to plug in Taskade right here. Do at Taskade. What this will do is it will actually take the video link and then you can add it to your workspace directly as a file, same way that you saw over there. And then turn that into a project if you want to or just store it in. And you can also do that through an automation step here as well. And since we're already in this automation screen, one other thing that we've released, this is more for my technical peeps, is I'm going to delete this. In webhooks, we now support nested JSON. So before, if you had a webhook payload coming in, you can only kind of take the first level. Now you can actually add nested objects in, in there. So this really can allow for a lot more complex data to come into Taskade. 